Hello, hello, my dear friends. How is everyone doing? It's so nice to have you all here for today's live. I know it's been a hot minute since I have done one here. And here is my special guest who's jumped in also. Andrew, oh, cool. who's my guest today, guys. <laughs> Hi, Andrew. Thanks for being here. How's it going today? Good. How are you? Uh, just following up with all these damn people. <laughs> you know how it goes with these two. Are you enjoying the mess or what? <laughs> I'm getting annoyed like with with the media, to be honest with you. It's such a pain in the ass right now. And mm -hmm. it just seems outdone for some reason. Like yeah. something something isn't connecting to where the amount of outrage from the media for the actual action. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense to me. So that's why there's a couple of theories that I have that we're, we're going through right now that it's either the media is upset about the lack of access to mm -hmm. Kensington Palace or also just the two morons to have done something. I um, almost feel like, sorry to cut you off yeah, there. Oh, yeah. I almost feel like, remember when that back grid photo of Catherine was released? Yes. Let me pull this one up here. Um, the one that was on unauthorized and they caught her in the car with her mom. Yeah. Right. And remember, none of the UK media, no one published it. No one would touch it. Mm -hmm. so I don't know. Is this like maybe a way for American media to get back at them in a way? It's I can see that because I did notice that all of the UK media published the Catherine photo. No problem. Mm -hmm. Like I saw all of them. There was at least five headlines that I saw when it came to the edited Catherine photo. So yeah, that definitely can look like something that's real because when you, when it goes from, when it goes from like Kensington palace rejecting to authorize that, that paparazzi photo, well, mm -hmm. they're like, okay, fine. Y'all want to do that? Well, we can come and do it. Yeah, you might have something there. Yeah. <laughs> and there was a complaint. Irene brings this up. And I remember when, remember there was a story a while back where Catherine was taking Camilla's photos for um, a magazine cover. I forget mm -hmm. which one it was. And then some of the journalists and media came out and made a stink about, well, Kate shouldn't be taking the photos because then we're the ones who should be making the money off of it. Yeah. Yeah. They were complaining. I feel like this is that all over again. But the witch hunt, the witch hunt has been out of control. I've never there was seen there was a a tweet from GB News. They did a segment where they said, I believe something along the lines of, "Well, the Kensing uh, Wales family didn't have an independent photographer with them, so that creates problems." So mm -hmm. they're basically admitting the media is that yeah. because you're not giving us access now we're just going to start up and that's uh, that's why start up a bunch of shit and also you would think that since she apologized wouldn't that be the end of it you would think so right you would think and that's what i just don't understand but they're just going in even harder now on the girl and you know it's what cnn just came out Pardon? No, I didn't. Oh, about them wanting to... Yeah, be now they're going to check all of analyzing. Alice's photos to That's make sure ridiculous. all photos are real. That is absolutely ridiculous. CNN needs to worry about their president who can't even go up a flight of stairs properly without tripping. Like, come oh. on. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of BS. And let's be honest, it reminds me of when Catherine was bullied and when she was harassed when she was dating William. I remember it, that. I've seen some I've seen some clips um where she was running down the street, right? Yeah. And there was like 40 or 30 or 40 paparazzi. There was a lot. I've seen yeah. some clips about that. That's real. I have a clip for you here that I wanted to play. And um it's from when when they were dating and basically um, Pippa and Catherine were walking home after the bar one night and they were on their bikes, I think. And there was a swarm of like 12 men in the dark with their cameras, like oh, wow. within inches of them, like no bodyguard, right? No bodyguard at all. I'm gonna show you this footage. It's a little bit dark because it was shot in the dark, but just mm -hmm. listen to the fear in Catherine's voice. 
I mean, it's it's absolutely haunting. Let me pull up this. Um, I have so many tabs open here because I have so <laughs> many like photos that I want to talk about. So oh I just, yeah, I know how that is. You know how that's it goes, yeah. right? Okay, can you see it? We're good. Yeah. Okay, let me turn up the sound. Here we go. Is it working? Oh. Oh wait. Let's see. You know, this always seems to happen when we want to load up something, right? Here we go. I'm not going to meet my phone. It's my private life. I'm not going to meet my phone. Guys, this is nice. Let's go. 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 let us this is what I've always thought, that Megan probably thought when she married Harry, that would happen to her. She probably thought that she would get chased down the roads in the same manner like Catherine was. Remember back in the day like this. She wanted that, and that's sick. But the fact that she doesn't have it is driving her even mental. What? Is that her on? No, that's not her on top. Yeah. This is all. This is all Catherine. Yeah, that's all Catherine. This is all Catherine. And See, that's she, real she, actual abuse. There, that's what that is. is. It that's is real right there. And then you have to talk about someone doing it to where she has one paparazzi, or there's not even a paparazzi. It's her security guard taking the photo. Yeah, you're, you're talking about a person that does that, and we're not. And the worst part is we're not supposed to say anything. Like it's it's supposed to be a bad thing that we make these videos about her and and all of these lies. <laughs> yeah, apparently, apparently we're the bullies for pointing out her inconsistencies and the nonsense when she puts out the stories. Like it's not our fault for being smarter than Harry, is it? <laughs> well, yeah, but we know. Oh, we know why Harry is the way he is. <laughs> remember, you remember the hand? <laughs> uh, my the gay them? hand. Who could forget the hand, really? And, <laughs> uh, and, and he was like, oh, my God, it's so beautiful. Oh, oh. That, I mean, the, the problem is he knows he's doing that. That's not it's not like we're just seeing a funny image of Harry and making something out of it. The guy knows how he's standing with his hand like that. He's got like, oh, oh. like, come on, man. Mm -hmm. Um, but I think with, with this, do you think this is from Megan or do you think it's the media? I think it's the media, just different woman. Yeah. We did it to Diana and now they're just doing the same thing to Catherine. I feel like the media thinks that they own Catherine and they yeah. own the right to know every single detail of her life and they don't. And I think they're getting mad over the fact that William and Catherine are putting up a barrier and pushing them out a bit and yeah. not letting them in so much. Megan and Harry have released so much trash to the media that now a woman asking for a little bit of privacy to recuperate from surgery. I mean, this is a woman who has always played the media's game. She yeah. has never once complained or anything. She asked for a little bit of privacy and it's been nonstop psycho like media frenzy since January. Mm -hmm. I mean, you want to talk about media bullying and Megan wants to talk about I was bullied by the media. I never remember in the years that <laughs> Megan has been with Harry that the media has been this relentless against Megan. Can you point out any any time that they've been this relentless like they are with Catherine? At this well, moment, for the past three months, the past uh, that's the interesting thing is the amount, which doesn't yeah. make sense to me. Like, I could understand if you get, let's say, I think the what I'm trying to say is the severity that's the word, the severity of a photo of her and the kids. You're mm -hmm. angry about that, yeah. Like, 
it's not making sense to me. And I think that's why, because think about anything, like you said, think about any time that they've gone hard on Megan. When, as a matter of fact, when do they go hard on her ever? Every single, every single article that I see about her is either kissing her ass or mm -hmm. trying to play her up as one of the many positions that she has, feminist, uh, actress, uh, or, you know, <clears throat> the many things that she's capable of doing but never actually does. Uh, they don't really criticize her the way that they've been criticizing Catherine for the last 96 hours. And I think that's why it shows that there is something behind this. Yeah. And it's going to be interesting what the next week holds because you know the news cycle. Like this is going to yeah. this is going to pass really quick, but it's going to be interesting. And you know there hasn't been any uh, blinds about this. Have you seen any blinds about this? I haven't seen anything. See, I that's what I've been wondering. <laughs> like with this little event, we haven't had leaks the way that we normally do with any kind of other times. Like there hasn't been a blind to say that, oh, so-and-so is behind it or so-and-so is this and so-and-so is that. So I'm really interested to find out to find out what's going on here because that the one that does sound good is, like you said, the American media versus the British media because we saw the British media was fine with it. They didn't care. They ran all of them on all the headlines. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's very interesting. But like, yeah, gee, that's so bad. <laughs> it's... I mean, we're talking about Photoshop, right? Yeah. And let's be honest. I mean, if we're going to, if we're going to criticize one person, we should criticize everyone. But I don't, you have I mean, to remember though, the one on the left is an official. Remember that, yeah. that photo is from what's her name's Instagram. Remember yeah. that, that, uh, Sanchez girl. Yeah. Then, then that's why they piled on her because she released unedited photos. Mm -hmm. And and all of Megan's mushrooms piled on her ass. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. They were sending her threats and everything. Yeah, yeah. because it, it, she, she put out an unedited photo of Megan. And then so you think about it, that's that makes it even more clear, the fact that this woman photos uh, photoshops everything. She photoshops everything. We even have her photoshopping her toes, right? Yeah. I mean, I got... Um, Jesus did a good little compilation. I know we've seen it all before, but he put his little arrows, which are handy dandy as well. But everyone remembers this Vanity Fair shot. Was oh, it yeah. Vanity or Vanity? I have one of those ones. Oh, and yeah. I'm, I mean, I remember looking at it and I was like, what the hell? This woman can't be this insecure to the point where she would Photoshop her long gangly toes. But here we are. Right. And those are the, those are those nasty things. And then there you go. And she even made the foot a little bit darker to look ethnic, too. If Harry's into feet, then he's got a big problem. Because <laughs> that those are disgusting, man. I mean, and then I, remember when she even photoshopped her face on a foot model. Yeah. You remember that? Mm hmm. She, uh, yeah, she uh, also photoshopped her head onto a kickboxing photo, too. I think oh, I that, that, that was her. from her. I thought that was yeah. just from the squad. No, 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 that was hers, and she that was used in an article, too. Yeah, and no, it was, it was like it, the, it's a Masan Harry man, the guy with the hairy back. Now, I want to know why no one did you see Masan was at the Grammys or the Oscars, whatever it was this past weekend, and yeah, couldn't and get a plus three for Megan. Yeah. Okay. Marcus what Anderson was that's, there too. That's what everyone said. Why didn't she go? And yeah. see, the problem here's the thing that I have, right? You want to claim to be who you claim to be. Well, go and make these appearances and look good doing it. Like, let's say that that South by Southwest thing, right? She was wearing a bed sheet, <clears throat> and all of the other women are wearing like Hillary Clinton suits. Yeah. Power so, suits. Yeah, is there a reason, Meg, that you can't just wear a suit and, you know, get together with the people that are at these events and say, okay, let me blend in. Let me uh, dress in a way that's not going to make me stand out. No, she wore a bed sheet for a reason. So when you think about it, if she was to go to the Oscars with this hairy back guy, would she even number one would her clothes be ironed like which yeah and then would she be wearing clothes that are appropriate because now she's actually she would actually be going to the oscars but then she would do something stupid like dress down or something 
Oh, she's probably one of those that probably needed like 20 security guards around her at oh. the event. Yeah, something Bowling like that. Her. They would probably have to clear the rooms or like search the rooms before she walked in, just like how she did. What was that little event they were? She was um, welcome to variety. Yeah, yeah. remember the she variety of women, whatever. And and like the problem that she has is that if you go to the Oscars and you look good, maybe things will get better for you. But you don't want to do that. She doesn't want to do that, and that's it's like infamy she does well, it on purpose this woman is like this i don't understand why she does it because it's not like she can't dress nice like here's at the very beginning when her and harry yeah. were look engaged. at that she could have worn that to the south by southwest why the hell couldn't you just wear that to south by southwest and, this and then we all wanted to nice. make fun of your talking yeah because i mean this what she said was stupid Oh, she what she was talking about was a bunch of BS. It's just the same narrative that she's been spouting off for the last 20 years. That's it. When you yeah. really listen to what she's talking, she's really saying nothing. And as you're watching her speak, just look at the reaction of the other women who are sitting there listening to her, like rolling their eyes and almost yeah. like vacant. Like, what is she talking about? <laughs> it sounds like her podcast. She went up there and podcasted. That's yeah. what she did. And... Look I think it's interesting when, oh, that's what I was going to tell you. You remember how she was talking about moms on television? Mm -hmm. I think the reason that she's saying that is because whenever she watches television and there's a mom on TV, it doesn't represent her because she's not a good mom. Mm -hmm. Like, you, you know, and it, I was starting to think about that. I was like, why does she want to change the view of moms on television? Because she isn't a real mom so when she sees a mom on television she wants to see a mom like her yeah that's a rich jet setting mom and just cares about doing deals and is girl bossing 24 7 but ma'am you have children you can't be jet setting do you, you know what i mean like i get what's now I, it clicked to me why she's doing that because when she's at home sucking down cigarettes and scrolling twitter she's watching tv and she's like oh i don't like that that mom in television i don't like that she's like a mom mom i want her to yeah. be like me that's why she's doing that. I just realized that today, well, thinking about that. She has a distorted sense of reality or what it should be. Clearly, yeah. Megan was one of those girls growing up on Mar the set of Married with Children. She probably watched a lot of Disney shows and movies by the way that she talks about Disney cartoons and stuff. She mm -hmm. lived in like a fantasy bubble. Um, Alicia brought up this thing because, you know, with the new photo of Catherine being in the car with William... Mm -hmm. Now, folks oh God, yes, that that is now. I have, I have something for that. As a matter of fact, you want me to send it to you? Um, sure. Is that they're trying to say right that the bricks don't match or some? Yeah, some. Ooh, you know what? It, at the end of the day, there is no pleasing the there squatty. There isn't because there these isn't. are the squatty for I've been saying this on my show and. Princess yeah. Catherine out there, I love her so much. Yeah. And Kensington, I love those people it's so much. But the, the thing that they should have done, they never should have gone away from the January announcement. Yeah. Ever. I agree. Like there I shouldn't agree. have been a second announcement. There shouldn't have been photos. There shouldn't, I mean, you know, maybe for Mother's Day, they should have just put out a photo. Like yeah. because it's Mother's Day, not because you're trying to appease these Megan's mushrooms. Well, Catherine always releases a Mother's Day photo. Ex she yeah, exactly. Because she always does. Or she always does because that's what she does. It's it's basically social media, the squaddies ramping up people and getting these conspiracy theories going. But I agree with you. They shouldn't. The first announcement and the first statement from KP should have been it. That's all. Did you see that they were calling the police or some shit? Yeah, I that saw they, that. They were calling the police over there in Britain also. Mm -hmm. So just imagine what they were doing behind closed doors. Oh, I can just imagine. I can just imagine. I feel terrible for her. I, You know what it is? I've, I've been watching Catherine since basically her and William started dating. Because they're just a handful of years older than I am. Mm -hmm. And... I've just been watching this girl is basically the royal family's golden ticket. Mm -hmm. 
Without her, who gives a shit about the royal family? But she's constantly being bullied. I've watched her get bullied by the media for over 20 years, and she's always been stoic. She's never responded once. She's never said anything. So where's the royal family standing up for her? And That's true. I've, I've been seeing people ask that, that why isn't, why isn't uh, Kensington Palace? They know that Catherine is their golden ticket. Should you not be protecting your golden ticket? Instead what would, of what would you want them to do? At least put out a statement just to tell like King Charles, just to say something about how, you know, how Harry put out a stupid statement about the media should be staying like back off of Meghan. After that, William released a statement also to support Harry saying that the media frenzy around Meghan is, um, shouldn't happen and blah, 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 like things like that. They made a statement to calm down the media. Yeah, I have never once seen the royal family make a statement to calm down the media around Catherine ever. Yeah, that's true. Ever. And do you think that would do anything though? Like, I think it would. Or you mean you mean it would be it. it would be like for us just you know just to say something, it not would. for the big morons. It would be nice to see Charles do something for once. Yeah, I get you. Protect I get you. Crown. Protect the yeah. monarchy. Protect your players. Right. Yeah, because because we got I think we only got like what hold on what day is it? We got uh it's the twelfth. We only got like three weeks till Easter, mm -hmm. so that's coming up. I mean, when when we see her in person, that's gonna break the internet. That's what that's gonna. Yeah, be. of course, of course. And it will. do you think that Megan sees how unimportant she is because Catherine is gone? Because she that's what I think. Does. I think she knows. She definitely does. I mean, think about it. Look at it. I'm looking at it this way. She must be sitting in her Montecito mansion just seething at the comparisons and parallels that people are drawing between Catherine and Diana now. And Megan's been working so hard to be Diana 2.0. And Catherine is getting the same, getting painted with the same brush without even trying. Mm -hmm. The fact that Catherine asked for some privacy and the media has gone into frenzy, like Megan must be shitting herself. She must be crying. Like, why aren't they doing this for me? That's why now she's trying to insert herself into the media speculation. Did you see the reports? Yeah. This morning, they, they, Ooh, that uh, source is close to the two morons. It yeah. was in, it was in page six, literally in page six. It was page six, the Exclusive. Telegraph, Daily Mail, basically it's saying ridiculous. that sources close to Harry and Meghan say the Sussexes would have been annihilated. And that's a Meghan word because she's used that before. If they made the same Photoshop mistake as Kate, and yeah, they always refer to her as Kate, but insist the Duchess wouldn't have slipped up because of her freakish attention to detail. I mean that's a total Megan headline. I mean I think I think you can look at Harry's hair. Um, yeah. When you when you Google Harry's new hair, mm -hmm. go back and look. That. I think it that story only lasted maybe a day. Okay, and we're talking about that was in the I believe it was in the Well Child or not Well Child in the Well something one of those mental health charities that he has. Better up. Uh, Harry's new hair. And it and it was we I remember it from last year. It was literally his hair, and he had all of a sudden, uh, all of a sudden this this flock of hair. I'm trying to find it. Here, um, I'm it up on my screen here. I'm and but it since it's since it's the here same exact thing, right? Yeah, that one right there, <clears throat> the one on the left. It, it was literally a press release that he put out for one of those charities. I don't remember which one it was. That you can compare it to. How much mm. shit did we give him? I think I only made one video about that yeah. because I think that's that thing only lasted a couple of days. Mm -hmm. So if if they want to say, oh, we would have been annihilated. Well, you we have evidence of you doing this and it coming out in the press and it only it definitely wasn't annihilated. So you're lying. Yeah, that's, they're always the victims, the right? They're yeah. always the victims. And now that Harry and Meghan are trying to insert themselves into it, it's like you guys Photoshop all your photos and you've never been called out on it. I think that we, all of us YouTubers, should start doing a round of videos of their Photoshop. Like just very. Oh, yeah. That's what I've been Photoshop. hitting. I've been hitting all their her Photoshop videos. <laughs>
And yeah. I've been seeing, I've been seeing like that, that I, I messaged you about that story that do you think, hold on, let me get the exact yeah. headline for it. It was a, uh, hold on the superimposed, where is it? Sorry. And Royal fans believe William and Catherine and Kensington palace are done with the Royal Rhoda after latest photo controversy. So, I've been seeing a lot of people and they're the bigger profiles on these social media apps. And they're saying that Kensington, that William and Kensington Palace are now like setting a standard and that in the future, if Megan tries to release a unedited photo, then they're going to call her out. That's what I've seen people say. What do you think? Mm. Because I've, I, that's, that's another thing, right? She's never been called out for yeah. a Photoshop photo. Never. She's never gotten for, called out for anything. Let's be honest. The media, the type of abuse that we're seeing, the media pile on to Catherine, a woman who should be focusing on her recovery, is is unlike anything that Megan has ever gotten. And what and did you make guess. of that photo of her? Of which one? With the bricks and all that stupid shit. I, honestly, it's it's a moving vehicle seeing that seeing her in that vehicle with her face turned away from the camera i got so sad for her i got so sad for her it just reminded me of when she was younger and it's just like oh history repeating itself she's yeah. going through the same abuse as she did when she was dating william and not once did the royal family ever tell say back off but it, it's never been this bad not recently no. right no, it never has. Harry and Meghan have opened the floodgates for it to be this bad. And like you were saying earlier um, about the report on GB News about um, the reporters, I mean, the photographers and stuff about yeah. how they could have used an independent photographer. That mm -hmm. was, um, what's his name? Cameron Walker. Cameron Walker. That, that guy's yeah. getting out of there. And it's sad because he used to be like, used when to be it good, started, like three, four months ago. Yeah. They always mm -hmm. start and then they go west. Like I, I've noticed that with Kinsey also. I mean, for you got to listen to these jur journalists, and I'm doing like air quotes too. Basically, they they tailor what they're saying for which media company, right? So if they're talking to American media, they'll be more pro Harry and Meghan. But then when they talk to U.S. media and America. Australian outlets, they'll be more like, oh, yeah, what they're doing is wrong and blah, blah. Like, they'll stand up a bit for the royal fan. Uh oh, you're shaking your head. What do you want to say? <laughs> That's sad. No, it's sad. I, I can't. And those are the people that get on TV. It yeah. just, it's disappointing is what it is. It's disappointing. Like, you would think news outlets would be yeah. better or maybe, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It's tough to say what the reason for that is because it's so blatant. You mm -hmm. can really see it. Don't you think if and maybe it's because these news producers, right, are so busy that they don't say to themselves, OK, well, I'm going to have someone on my show. And she just said oh, something different yesterday on a different show. Maybe I don't want them. Maybe yeah. that's not a good a good uh, feature. Well, would you would you want someone on your show who just literally trashed another person without any like proof for anything? Like I'm talking about the whole NT situation, right? Oh, that's even worse. Yeah, I mean, when I saw I her do that, I was just I was very cringe. How did that start? Um, I think Christo had asked uh, Kinsey a question, and he had mentioned NT. NT lawyer, and then Kinsey just went off basically, oh, like, oh, you you want to stay away so from important. that person. And it's just like, well, you were just you were just singing his praises months ago and just had him on his channel, and all of a sudden you just I just it was a bad look to be doing it on a platform like that. That's, That's big. She was on television that yeah, was on TV, TV. And, and you're talking about a YouTuber. Like yeah. that's some treacherous Prince Harry type shit right there. Mm -hmm. That's what that is. And, mm -hmm. and then, yeah, like you said, would I want that person on my show? No, because then you don't know what they're going to say about you. Like, could you imagine how, I mean, that's, that's what would happen. Something like that, where, where you see someone go on a national platform, like was it GB news that it she was, was on? Fox TV. 
Oh, talk TV like that, a, a national platform like that. And to talk like that about another YouTuber. Now, of course, I guess whatever happened between him and that girlfriend, I don't know the actual details, but I, I that listened to that podcast. I know we're, we're going totally left here, but I listened to that podcast and basically what I get from what she's saying, she's basically coming off as a scorned lover. She knew that the guy had a wife and everything, got involved with him. He basically whispered a whole bunch of sweet nothings in her ear. She fell for it. She has two kids. He made her promises and stuff like that. She ate it up. And then when he broke up with her, she basically got very upset and he filed a restraining order on her like the minute he broke up with her. And that obviously pissed her off like it would any woman. And she got vindictive. He turned around and said, OK, well, don't expose who I am and I'll pay you a certain amount every month. He paid her and she still went and exposed him. So, like, come on. I mean... And at the end of the day, let's be honest, there's always three sides to the story, right? There's always her side, his side, and the truth. But she comes off as a scorned lover to me who wants to out him now. So they're trying to cancel this guy because he had an affair. Basically, yeah. And everyone does. Like, that's that's literally world. called, that movie's called Fatal Attraction. I, yeah. I don't know, you know, oh, well, that makes me sound really old. But I don't, I can't believe, like, there was people that emailed me and they were like, you can't do a show with NT Lawyer anymore, man. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Why? Because he's not a nice person. Uh, we're not, I was just like, we're not, I'm not doing this right now. I'm not going to answer to these. This is total crap. And then I forgot who else told me about it. And then that was when I saw Kinsey say what she did. But I think the problem that you have is that, I don't know, like going on national TV to talk about a YouTuber. That's, that's like backstabbing type shit. Like, it didn't, isn't she a YouTuber? Yeah. Like, yeah. so I don't know. I guess it's just something to where she wanted to discredit the guy or something. I don't know. It just, it just looks bad. It just looks yeah. bad. But if we're really talking about oh, this guy. fake people, I mean, let's talk about this guy, right? Yeah, we didn't hear from these people. Yeah, and actually it was him and that other Shola woman. They're all talking about this now. Of course, and we didn't are. hear from them on the African Park scandal, did we? No, nothing at all. Nothing, nothing at all. Fast. No one's talking about the African Parks like it didn't even happen. And you know what's funny? None of the UK media people who are asking about it either. They're all focused on this whole Catherine thing. And mm -hmm. you know what's interesting also? I didn't know, but apparently um, there was a car driven through Buckingham Palace, the, the fence the other day. Yeah, yeah, I heard about that. I think it was like a, oh, I'm not going to say that. Never mind. Uh, I think it was like some dude. It happened after, um, it was after William did his event at with the Jewish people, right? Yeah, so that's, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> what were you going to say? What? Yeah, it, it was a Muslim dude. <laughs> Who went into the gates? Yeah, that's, the what gates? I, that's what I saw. It was a oh, Muslim dude. Okay, there's footage online. It's, but why is no one talking about this? Oh, I mean, I, I think it's because it's not a big deal, right? Is it? It's not a big deal that a car rammed into the Hasn't that happened? Yeah, wasn't there a dude that tried to jump the gates? Like, that happens all the time now. That, with these no, people. that happened after. That happens all the time um, now with these people. After the whole Oprah thing. <laughs> yeah. The whole Oprah hey, thing, man, I, I mean, you know, we're not going to get political here, but yeah. London it's kind of got some problems right now. Yeah, I know. You know, they, they got they all of those protests and I see that they got protests every day now. Mm -hmm. Like you Are see the, doing uh, like prayer the, on the London bridge now. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And it's all this anti anti Israel stuff. And I see it every single day. There's a new protest every day. So, yeah. I mean, damn, I'm glad I'm here in America. I know. I, I was telling some uh, some of the women, I was putting it on Twitter. I said, women in London, you better get your burqas out if you don't fight against this, because that's the way it's going. I mean, take a look at play, countries <laughs> like Syria or like Iran, where we're normal. And then within oh, two yeah. years, it all flipped because of the government. Yeah, that, that's happened in every single place. Um, I don't know the exact list, but there mm -hmm. is a list of countries 
where they were like very free, very nice and, and quiet and everything. And then yeah. once a certain group of people came into those those countries, everything changed. But, you know, I don't know if we should be talking about that. OK, but let's move on. Let's move on. Yeah. Let's, you know, what's funny. OK, you know, what's crazy out of all of this is that Megan loves to call herself a feminist. She constantly calls herself. I'm an empower. I empower women. I'm a global leader. I'm a force for change. I'm a feminist. Right. Yeah. And here, I think with all this Catherine frenzy going on. She could have done like pulled a really good, like put some positive PR for herself mm -hmm. if she had put out a statement to stop bullying Catherine or to stop picking on women. Because wasn't she just complaining at the South by Southwest panel about online bullying of women and women being the worst ones who do it? And it's her fan base who are doing this and citing all of this craziness around Catherine. Yeah. And it's just posturing. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. all it is. And, and I think you want to know, I think where that comes from is from Gloria Steinem. I think that's that brand of feminism. Yeah. Um, very performative, very uh, virtue signaling type. So I, it's also indicative of the fact that she remember during when the announcement happened, I think it was during January, when we found out about the surgery, they neither of them put out an announcement, uh, a statement for her. Yeah. So you look at that and then, like you said, that would she put out a statement saying to stop bullying her? I mean, most people think that it's coming from her. The bullying is coming from her. And mm -hmm. also, like with this CNN thing, CNN is probably connected to WME somehow. Yeah. So there's probably a connection there. And then also there was, I have it here. Remember how the AP is the one that put out that kill notice? Yeah. Okay, well, I, it was literally like 12 hours later. Oh, I don't have it here. It was 12 hours later after this happened that they featured a Meghan Markle segment at South by Southwest on the AP Twitter directly. Yeah. I saw that. Yeah. I saw that. So if that doesn't tell you right there where this is probably coming from, more than likely, you know, it, it wouldn't be hard to believe that some of these journalists at some of these publications, they're Meghan's mushrooms. It yeah. wouldn't be hard to believe at all, especially yeah. women. You know how those women like that are when they work at these publications. Mm -hmm. They're all about empowerment, even though it's Megan's type of empowerment. It's not actually empowerment. What is she empowering? Like she calls herself a force for change. What is she changing? What has she done to change? I, what is she empowering? Nothing. Nothing. I don't get it. And, and I think that's why it's so bad because she has a rich husband like if this was something to where, I mean, I'm not going to say if, if she was an actual princess because I, like that's different. You're a royal. So then you would have duties anyway. But mm -hmm. she she comes off. You want to know this is sad for Harry. She comes off as if being a duchess is an accomplishment, not yes. a title, not yes. like a family thing. She comes off as if she accomplished something by calling herself a duchess. And it's so weird. Yeah. And that's that's why you can tell this whole feminism thing is a farce completely. Well, the fact that she has to be introduced on a women's panel as the Duchess of Sussex. Yeah. That's and all without your husband, you wouldn't have that title. Yeah. If you didn't marry Harry, you wouldn't be on that panel. Yeah. You wouldn't nobody would be paying you any dust or anything. But that's why it's so interesting. Why do you why do you think everyone goes along with it though? Because it's all you have to remember. It's if she was just doing this and people weren't uh, going along with it, you know, then there wouldn't be a problem. But they do, mm -hmm. right? Because it's a lot of those people in that industry that are like that. They care about performance. They care about posturing, all that kind of shit. I oh my god, Mary Taylor's um, <laughs> comment here. Megan spelled backwards is nagum. Mm. <laughs> That's a good one. She Mary. nags. She look and you want to know what she, it looks like she nags Harry. Did you oh, see that? She does. You saw the report about they were saying she was steering him in the airport? Mm-hmm. That like she the claw. The claw, man. No, you know what that was? That's full performative. Harry saw as you're talking about when they were leaving Austin in the airport, mm -hmm. right? So Harry noticed that someone was recording because he looked right up into the camera for a split second. 
So, you know, when they know that someone's recording, Megan always has to be super nice and cuddly and put her arm around him. But you know what's crazy is that they were trying to fool us public like they were taking a commercial flight when they were just walking through the airport to make it appear like they were going on a commercial flight. Yeah, there's no there's no shots of them getting into a private jet from Backgrid. No, definitely not. <laughs> Obviously. Yeah. Who knows? <laughs> what do you, I want to, before um, we wrap this up, I want to know what are your thoughts on, because news came out that Samantha's court oh, case yeah. has been complete. Yeah, I, I feel I, bad I, for her. I, I do. Feel like I feel very bad for her. I, I, like, I think that with the actual, the judge said because of what was said, you know, you can't twist it and say it's, it's defamation. Mm -hmm. I think it's just sad. Um, more than likely what should happen is Samantha needs to get her narrative out there some way, somehow, yeah. like she needs to do something on some type of channel. I, don't, I mean, I'm, I know some of these bigger channels have already featured her mm -hmm. and she needs to get her narrative out there and then we'll cover it, you know, and yeah. we'll, we'll run it. We'll run the shit out of it. And that, that way she can have her word because if you're going to beat her, if you're going to beat Meghan Markle, you have to do it at her game and her game is media. So you have to get in the media. Yeah, I agree. hundred percent. Um, mm -hmm. with Dan starting this whole new channel of his, is that's going to be channel? interesting. That's I'm waiting for the first drop. That's going to be very interesting. Did you, did you see the Sarah data thing? I did. I did. Yes. But did you see she was, um, she was unmasked on Twitter. Yes, yes. Apparently, she was in a MasterCard commercial, and they found exactly who she is. Yeah. And mm -hmm. she deactivated her Twitter account today. And also, if you look at the announcement from the Dan Wooten thing, where his new website, you can see the photo of Megan and Sarah Data, and Sarah Data has her face blur uh, blurred out. So Dan, Dan knows. Oh, I think Dan knows a lot of things now. Yeah. I mean, Dan look, I, I know I didn't cover the Dan Wooten thing because of oh. John Depp. I'm Wait, still Duchess of Narc Sussex says she's back on Twitter. Oh, she's reactivated now? Narc oh, Sussex. Shit. Thank you, darling. Thank you. Like, Sorry. What you I, I, I didn't cover the uh, Dan Wooten thing because of Johnny Depp. You know, I, I'm yeah. still on. I'm still pro Johnny Depp. But yeah, I think it's yeah. good for Dan Wooten, what he does. And, uh, and I want to see him take byline times down. That's what I want to see. You know what? You know what I never understood about Dan? I never understood how Dan could see through Megan, but he couldn't see through Amber. I thought she blew him. Is that what it was? That's what I heard back then I when, it, when I was covering that story. That's what that's what people told me that, that Amber, blew him, Amber blew him or something. And, huh. I, and I was like, oh, OK, well, that explains it. But I thought Dan, but isn't Dan a little I mean, zesty? I Dan Zippy, well, <laughs> male partner. Um, I, I mean, you or know, maybe she, he goes both ways. Yeah, probably. You know, buy something. Um, I, I had heard that. I had heard that that was the reason that because mm -hmm. she blew him, and then she also blew the director for that movie. So that's why she was able to stay on the movie. You know, she's she's. I'm I'm glad that woman is gone. Jeez, and she's been trying to make a comeback too. I know. She's a, uh, you know what though? I do admire her, um, be her ability to speak multiple different languages. Mm -hmm. I mean, I wish I could speak Spanish as well. She speaks it better than I do, but yeah. <laughs> well, she, yeah. Cause she has to, because she has nowhere yeah. else to live. Nowhere else to go. You think really? that's the baby she's got? Yeah. hundred percent. Right. I yeah, think so. definitely. I mean, at least you, at least you're able to live for free off of Elon's money. Makes sense. Yeah, it makes yeah. sense. But how many kids does he have now? Because he did screw that weird artist. Yeah, and then did, Yeah, and then he had another chick pregnant. He has three. Yeah, and then he got some What's chick at his work pregnant too. Yeah. At the same time. Didn't they say he had 10? Hold on. Elon's kids. No, he's got, okay, this says. Nine one, kids? One, two, this says seven. Seven. I thought okay. Five other children. Yeah, son six. Yeah, okay. So I guess six or seven. Damn. Yeah, so six. What do you think is gonna happen next, huh? What do you think the princess of Wales should do? Just ignore nothing. Them? Nothing. I'm hope. I'm hoping that she does nothing. I I regret 
the decision to even come out with anything yeah. since since the January announcement, but we're here. And if I could tell her comms people anything, I would say just just treat these Megan's mushrooms like mushrooms, feed them shit and keep them in the dark. And that's it. You know, and if that means staying silent, hey, we don't have to worry about it because Harry is going to embarrass himself pretty soon anyway. You know, I, I had caught um, Lady C's video a bit of it earlier, mm -hmm. and she had mentioned that they're within their team are anti monarchists, which are laying like little banana peels for them to later slip in. So they're basically setting traps for them to basically. For for, for Harry, for, for the royal family. Yeah, I would believe that. He says that because, like, that's why the website is in such shambles, too, because they have anti-monarchists, because they hired outsiders. And some of those outsiders are not for mm -hmm. the monarchy. And those people are laying banana peels for the royals to slip in and make asses out of themselves, like, in this manner. Well, that's what Scabie's new book is going to be about. Did you hear about that? He's got another new book coming. Yeah, but and it's fiction. He ruined his career. He can't even write another another nonfiction book. He's writing a fiction book about a woman that had a job at the White House, and then she up and decides to go to Buckingham Palace to work. And uh, let me guess, this is going to be a Netflix movie as well. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Scabies, yeah. Scabies is uh, posting workout photos of himself all over Instagram. If you guys are interested in losing some weight or something, go check out those photos and you can throw up a bit. I think he really did it. I think he really screwed his career. I think that's he real. Definitely did. We're not. I'm not just saying that. No, he obviously did. Throwing the the fact that he threw those um, translators under the bus. You named. Willie, I mean, the king and Catherine as racist, even though I think it's supposed to be Camilla, but the way the media ran with it, Catherine got um, got basically the hit of it, basically. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because I feel like in the book, when they were speaking, when the book was written, they were talking about the princess of Wales, and that would have been Camilla at the time. Yeah, that poor translator. Um, I really hope that she sues him. I truly do. That poor woman, they bothered her at her home. And uh, she was in tears when yeah, she, she was. She looked so sad and scared, and it made me feel so bad. Same here. Do you not like Harry and Meghan? This is all they do, and they're goons. They go around inflicting pain on other people's lives for no reason, for just doing their jobs. Yeah. I mean, at what point are is someone going to stop them and say, look, cut it the fuck out? <laughs> well, it's not going to be the media. I think uh, I think the internet and the public perception will do it because so far, if you look at it, Hollywood wants nothing to do with that. Nothing at all. The WME uh, Oscar party. They yeah. Got Isn't that now with that happening, Andrew? Do you think that WME is representing her in any way? I mean, I still think they are, but. Again, it's just like the actual Oscars. She yeah. could have gone with that hairy back guy, and she chose not to. And I think there's a reason. Like, these kind of events, I think it could be the security thing that's real, where she truly believes that when you're going to go – because you know how the Oscars red carpet is. There's yeah. jingles of people everywhere, yeah. you know? So could it be that these two morons truly believe they're in danger? I think it could. So There's, then you think about an Oscars party. They don't know who's there. Oh, well, we need security at the Oscars party. Well, then fuck you. We're not going to invite you. You don't need to come. Oh, well, we need security at the Oscars. Well, then F off. We don't want you to go. Like these, I think this could be a real thing. I really, really do. I get it. And how it's, did you see any security at South by Southwest? No. I didn't well, yeah, the her. yeah, her daddy was there though. <laughs> but let's let's be honest. They went into a complete stranger's home in Austin, Texas. I mean, in Uvalde, Texas. Isn't that that they were saying that guy's a part of the squad? Yeah, he is. He like, is. Literally, he's one yeah. of those people that post. He is. 
and he's messaged them too. He's literally said, I love you Sussex squatties. <laughs> Miss ATX here says, as someone born and raised in Austin, Texas, we don't want Megan in the Lone Star State. I Damn think right. you feel the same, huh? Damn right. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know, but Andrew is from the Lone Star State. Himself. Yeah, I was going to go up there. That would have been so bad. I'm so glad I didn't do that. that would you would have stuck out like a sore thumb being no, as tall it, as you no, are. No, no, actually, after talking with legal, they got me through it. They're like, dude, understand if these people see you and they know who you are because yeah. they watch your channel and they see your stuff, what's going to happen? Like it would have been a very bad thing. And don't get me wrong. I would have had so much fun, you know, going over there, you know, I, I don't know, maybe like walking up to Harry or some shit, telling him he's a bitch. But I, 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 I believe you did. You did the right thing by not going because can't have it, any fun anymore. Had you gone and had she had seen you? Well, she would have because you're tall and you're handsome. But had she had seen you, she that would have validated her whole, I'm being bullied, yeah. I'm being harassed, right? Because normally, a lot of people know this. Um, yes, they say violence doesn't solve anything. I mean, sometimes it does. But mm -hmm. when you think about something that's happening like this in the sphere that's ha that it's happening, in the media sphere, we know how vile and volatile the media sphere is, right? Everyone talks shit to each other. But nobody ever actually does anything. Yeah. So that's why when you have someone like Andy Signor, remember when he went to Montecito, how big of a stink they made. And I think that that's real. And I think that's why this isn't going to stop. Because could you imagine if Harry actually had a threat, a real threat out there? Do you think he would be making appearances ever at all? He would be bunkered. That's what he, he would do. Because someone wants to hurt you, you're not going to put yourself in the in the public. Well, he wants something to happen because as it was even mentioned in his court cases, he said, I am a threat. What if something does happen to me? And then what that's what they did in New York, right? Yeah. They yeah. were trying to say that two people were going to get arrested, but they didn't actually say who they were. Yeah. And if they were going to be arrested, why weren't they arrested right on the scene? It yeah. makes no sense at exactly. all. Exactly. Because they I mean, were trying to use that. Damn. <laughs> Brigitte, thank you so much for the super sticker. That's super kind of you. Thank you. I, You know what? I feel like the public has seen time and time again just how diabolical these two individuals can be to get what they want and how far they are willing to push the envelope to get what they want. Yeah. I'm surprised at, I'm surprised that they didn't pull like a a kidnapping some kind of kidnapping stunt or something the fact I'm that I'm waiting for that actually I'm I am I'm waiting for oh, some we're waiting for that, but Uvalde their trip to Uvalde would have been perfect right on the way to a complete stranger's house in the middle of the woods with no security really and you're in black and one blacked out vehicle that I would have thought that would have been the perfect opportunity for them to pretend like oh our car got rammed off the road Mm -hmm. Right, and the the problem with them is that they probably would. That's the thing. Like when you would think about something, you've already been busted faking a paparazzi ta a taxi chase. Mm -hmm. You've already been busted once. Would they try it again? And I think the answer a lot of people would say is yes. And that's the problem. And like if you notice how Catherine has became like the queen of the world by being gone. You, do you think that Megan has looked at that and said, hey, maybe I should go away? Mm -hmm. You think she has? Mm, she won't do it because Megan has gone away before. Well, she went away from December to January, but yeah. it was it was just no appearances. Yeah, nobody really cared, right? Well, her, her approval ratings went up two points, but that's about it. Jeez. And that's that's why I think I think she's incapable of going away like this. She she could never do what Catherine's doing. Let's be honest. She could never do anything. Because like you've been here, like you said, for that long, like mm -hmm. you said earlier, right? So in the six years that they've been doing this, do you know the longest that she's ever gone away? I think it was just the longest time she went away was roughly, when was it? 
in close to that New Year time. No, they were unseen when they were um, when they had mexited, right? That was back then. But ever since that was then, twenty twenty. Yeah, but then she always makes sure to get herself out there somehow, pap walk or something. See, so this has been like this has been happening since since for six years now. So that's why I'm saying like the now the actual reason of her going away. A lot of people would shit on her for it. Oh, she's just going away to fix her reputation. But I think the one reason, well, one of the reasons she wouldn't go away is because she's a Hollywood person. Well, Toronto, she's a <laughs> she's a Hollywood person, and she knows that if if you get out of the spotlight, you could be forgotten. I think she knows that. I mean, look at Amber Heard. We only brought her up because of Johnny Depp. Well, she's not popular, anyways. So she has to keep popping out like a little weasel, right? To keep showing her face and doing something. She always has to, now all she has is basically hanging on to Catherine's coattails. Because I'm wondering, uh, well, Tom Bauer had said that this is going to pass. You know, the actual photo cons uh, uh, scandal controversy. It is going to pass. So the question is going to be what's next. Mm -hmm. Now, Easter's coming around in three weeks. And I think that when Easter happens, that's going to be a huge moment in time. Oh, you know how many cameras are going to be around to just get her photo? It's going to be crazy. Yeah. I mean, how, what are the likes at? Um, how much views? Yeah, how last many views I saw was 81 million. Are they at 81? Let me take a look right now. Yeah. Last I saw was like 81 million, I think. Yeah, and who's ever gotten a reception like that for photo before? Yeah. Um, well, actually, no, I, I, let me see if I have that still. There was some tea that I found. It says, this is from something secondhand Coke. I think this is on Reddit. I heard Megan instigated the AP strike. She scrutinized the photos with a fine-tooth comb, found negligible flaws, then called up WME demanding they use their contacts to get their picture out of the news so that her South by Southwest interview and Uvalde publicity stunt wouldn't get overshadowed like any treacherous psychopath. Okay. So that's it. So yeah. Um, like, yeah. And that's what I had told you. Remember that WME is probably connected to CNN, of course, connected to CNN and the AP. Like that does sound like it's something. Yeah. Trust me. There was something behind this. The media was pissed off that they weren't getting their cash cow out in public. They weren't getting photos. They weren't getting anything from them. And they're bullying her to get information out of her. That's what they're doing. Yeah. They think that they can put enough pressure on Catherine with the conspiracies, with the daily relentless um, columns about it and force her to make an appearance or answer their questions. She doesn't have to. Yeah, definitely. She doesn't have to do anything. And she does and they and and I had seen some people talking about that. I hope that they do. I hope that they cut everybody out. I I really really do and they just start releasing everything themselves. A part of me almost wishes that they're just like, okay, you know what? Deuces. You guys deal with this yourself. We're mm -hmm. going to take a break for a year and then we'll come back and you guys like deal with your patronages behind the scenes, uh, keep up with all your charities behind the scenes and everything, but just don't even like deal with the media. Don't put out anything for them. Like just focus on your own mental health at this point, because yeah. what's the point? Catherine, like I've constantly said, she's the golden ticket for the Royal family and they're not even protecting her. You're trying yep. to tell me King Charles couldn't take a second out of his day to put out a message to the media about the crazy amount of bullying and relentless harassment that she's been getting. It's just, it's too much for the actual action. Yeah. That's how I feel. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense at all. Like it's you want to make bag. a you want to make a stink about a Photoshop photo when Misan put out a whole Photoshop photo with Megan and her fake moon bump? Are you mm -hmm. kidding? Everyone's it's photo is Photoshopped these days. Let's be honest. Everything. But you want to get upset over a sleeve? I mean, Harry did it in People magazine. They do it hair. all the 
time. They just like, did it when they were in Whistler. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, and she I had fake that, hair. And nobody they didn't say anything. I think I posted a photo with her nose hair sticking out too. And then oh. right away, it's like a and then right had, away. What? I thought she had a stylist for that. <laughs> or any kind of shit. Come on. <laughs> I think, but yeah. like that's why at, at this point like with all of that it's got to be on purpose it has to be on purpose you can't purpose. make this many mistakes over and over and over and it's not on purpose yeah like look if we want to keep on keep it level right yeah right there see and that and if you like like we said about the photo earlier the mm -hmm. one on the left isn't from a media agency only the one on the right was. Yeah. She always airbrushes her photos and the media agency puts it out. But all of a sudden, for Catherine's photo, you guys all get your knickers in a twist. You all throw a hissy fit over it. I don't really? understand. That, if I was Catherine, that would just make me want to protect my children even more. Wouldn't it? Yeah. Be like, you know what? Screw you. You don't deserve any photos then. You don't deserve anything at all. And if they went away, it would be disastrous for Megan. Like... If like, let's say come uh, Easter, right? Let's say come mm -hmm. Easter, hypothetically, then they put out a statement saying, oh, well, she's not going to come back until labor or until August or until yeah. the end of summer. And then at the end of summer, they say, oh, well, she's not going to come back until Thanksgiving or, or Christmas. And then they just keep on doing that. That would be disastrous for Meghan Markle because... Mm -hmm. They, because Catherine would take every single press organization and they would be all saying the same thing. Why do they keep putting it forward? Why this? Why that? Well, why? Because we don't want anything to do with any of you anymore. That's why. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, she she would have nothing. Mm -hmm. she would have nothing. What would she have? The same soap story? That's sad. That's a 30-year-old <laughs> story, man. That's and sad. it's not even real. That's the well, thing. Well, that too. Yeah, that too. But it's I, not I think even it's... real. And the problem, the problem with a story like that is, you could have made another story by now. Like mm -hmm. these kind of things, the way that she always has to talk about things from the past, it's because you're not doing anything now. Exactly. The, the reason that you have to always talk about suits, or the reason that you always have to talk about uh, that's uh, the soap dish story, whatever is because you don't have anything to talk about what you're doing currently. And really, what is there currently? The Lemonada Media Podcast? That's going to be sad. Which has, I think they're inflating the numbers again because it's ranking as 174, like down, down low. But then they have it popping up as number two on the list. Yeah. So I don't know. They're doing the same thing as Spotify. But as always. I don't know. <laughs> I just thought we should jump on here and discuss this crap. Is there anything else you want to say before I let you go? Or does anyone? Uh, I just want to, I want to say to oh. Catherine, because I just ran a report that she feels bad. And there's been royal sources saying that. Now, whether that's Megan or whether that's not, I want to say to her, don't feel bad. You didn't do anything wrong. Like, I, I, I think that Catherine is such a nice person. And she thought by apologizing then everyone would say, oh, look, Catherine apologized. That's nice. Well, no, they didn't because Megan's mushrooms are pieces of shit. So mm -hmm. it doesn't matter if you apologize to them. They're going to just keep going. But I just want to say to her, you did nothing wrong. Nothing. But doesn't that, doesn't that speak to her character, though? Yeah, because she's, she's a nice person. And, yeah. And Instead of, like, she could have easily thrown someone under the bus, which, say, mm -hmm. anyone else in her position would have done that to save their own carcass. Yeah, definitely. Instead, we know that she's recovering from surgery. She still has... We know what stress does to a person when they're recovering. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And the fact that she still can come out and throw herself down on the sword and take the blame. And I mean, you got to admire her for that. How could you not? Yeah. How could you not? Yeah. That and it's, it's, sad. it's sad because you're dealing with people that they're pieces of shit. That's the only thing I, I can say, because that's the truth. 
that you is know the what, you know what I want to know before we go. Where are all the so-called feminists on TV who like to call themselves feminists who have yet to say one thing sticking up for Catherine? Well, Whoopi Goldberg said something positive about Catherine, but she's Whoopi Goldberg, so nobody gives a shit about her opinion. But but yeah, you're right. There hasn't been any any high level women come out. Yeah. So. I've seen men, I've seen men say more and stick up for Catherine and the photo and who cares, it's Photoshop, everyone does it, it doesn't mm -hmm. matter. I mean, at this point, like you said earlier, I don't think they should even put out anything, don't respond to anything, who gives a shit? At Absolutely. This point? There is no satisfying them at all. At ever. all. E ever, ever, it doesn't matter what you do. And now, I don't know if you've seen the latest narrative, Oh, the royal family needs them back. Yeah, I saw that. Now there's because that's what they do. They're they'll just say whatever at all, any time. They're trying to. I saw that they're trying to push for their six months. They want to be in the royal family for six months and go off to do their own thing for six months. Like this is old. This is tired. It's the same boring narrative that they have because they have nothing else left. Mm -hmm. But from yeah. now on, I think whenever Meghan and Harry put out any photos, I think we should be equally critical as they have always been. Oh, when shit. Right. No, they opened up a can of worms. If Meghan Markle goes away for an extended period of time, I'm going to come up with the most fucked up possible conspiracies <laughs> known to man. That's <laughs> all. That's all. And I'm going to end it there. <laughs> just leave it there just, just leave it there right and there. i think we should leave this live there too guys <laughs> honestly you guys thank you andrew so much for joining me today it's always so much fun having you here and doing a live with you and i think the audience seems to like having us do a live together also oh yeah i love it i love it so much <laughs> the comment section totally goes off but i'm so glad i had you on today and had a chat with you about all of this because it definitely did get a weight off my freaking shoulders. I was so annoyed by it. It's it's the worst right now. It just is. Yeah. And, but it'll pass. It'll pass. It'll, it will. I mean, I always say the news cycle just lasts like 72 hours, right? For Catherine, it's a little bit longer because she is very popular. Let's be honest. She's one of, she's one of the world's most photo photographed women. Yeah, right? definitely. She is. And the fact that she is out, the media is crying. It just shows her power. And I hope she just doesn't give in anymore. Absolutely. But you guys, thank you so much for being. Any last words, darling? Oh, we no, go? we're good. Okay, guys, we're out of here. We're going to go. Thanks for Bye. tuning in. Take care, guys. Bye. Stay safe out there. Bye. Bye. <laughs>